I'm at a location I've been to before, so if you've seen this video, you'll kind of know what I'm talking about. But the difference now is that I am here where there's snow. Um, the last time I was here, there was actually a lot of flooding. Um, so there was actually sections where I was able to take shots where there was water on and stuff, but that's all gone now, and now it's just snowed over. So everything is pretty much white. Um, but I, I thought coming back here, even though I've been here quite a couple of times now to take photographs, I thought coming back here while it's like this with all the snow, I wanted to test myself and see if I could find something else, something that I haven't taken photos of, or at least a different type of composition. Okay, so I've come to this really nice location here. You've got this old boat that's sunken into the water, and then you've got the mountain just behind it, and it kind of just gives this really nice composition. Um, the water is really calm today, so I'm not really going to be getting any shots where the, mo the wa water is moving or anything. But as it is, it looks really nice, so I kind of don't really need to worry about that. So my aim is to get a really nice shot, detailed shot of the boat, and then have the mountain in the back uh, the only thing is today is pretty much really grey, the, the clouds are just completely greyed out but it kind of helps having the snow around because then you kind of get in contrast between the snow and and the water and the background and everything so it kind of just it does help a little bit and the snow kind of lightens up everything. I think a shot slightly from above could work but otherwise I think I'm actually going to put the tripod a little bit into the water and take a really low shot. I think it kind of just adds a little bit of a different effect and just gives this really nice look. But I think first I'm just going to take a shot of the boat as it is at the angle I have it now. So I got some of the water in the foreground and then I got the boat, the rest of the water, then I got the mountain and then I got some of the sky as well in the image. I'm going to shoot this at f8 because I want as much detail as possible right now. Um, I got my ISO down to 100 and I'm going to put my shutter speed at around 1 50th of a second. Um, I got my timer on at 2 seconds, so it should give me a good enough image here. Okay, so the image looks really nice. Um, the water is really nice and flat and smooth, so it is giving that effect as if the water was moving and taking a lot of exposure. Um, but the angle isn't really working for me right now. I do like it, but uh, I think taking a low shot definitely will give an advantage to the image. Okay, so the only problem I'm encountering now is that by the position I have it in and having it low, the boat kind of becomes part of the mountain. So I think I'm going to change my angle a little bit, move a little bit towards the other side, just to be able to separate the boat from the background. So I got it low into the water now and I'm getting just the front of the boat in and a little bit of the side of it. But now I have got kind of a break in between so you're seeing the boat and then a little bit of water and then you're getting the mountain in the background. Um, I think right now I'm getting a little bit of too much of the sky so I might lower it slightly. So I'm only kind of getting just this one little rock here in the image. Um, it's, it's a kind of okay, but you're still getting a little bit of stones in the water as well. It, it is a better composition because I'm not getting too much of the sky. You're just getting a little bit, a little strip of the sky on the top of the frame. And then you're getting the water dragging in towards the boat and then you get the mountain in the background. So it does look a lot better. Um, so otherwise, I think I'll just take the shot as it is and then kind of move on from that because otherwise I'm going to be playing around with this too much and not really finding something I like. So again, I'll shoot at F8, I've got my ISO at 100, and then I'll drop, it's getting a little bit dark now actually, so I'm going to drop my shutter speed to uh, 1 30th of a second now.
Okay, so it's kind of starting to get a little dark now. So I think what I'll do is go find one more composition that could work quite nicely and then kind of leave it off with that. And I'll even include a few other shots that I've taken. But um, I'm not sure. I think I'm kind of just going to stay by the water because um, there's always there's always something good out here by the water. There's just something else to see, you know. I found this really cool tree that's kind of just hanging over the edge of the water there. My idea is to kind of get the arch of the tree just going over into the water and kind of focus on the rocks there underneath as a foreground. Um, I might actually get some of the ice in as well, but otherwise this is quite nice. Um, I, I kind of like the look of it. There's even like a chunk of ice just sitting on top of the rocks there. So one thing I forgot to mention is that I'm using a 35 millimeter prime. Um, so right now I'm actually a little bit too close. So I'm only getting that first rock in the water there and then a little bit of, a, of the branches at the bottom. Um, so what I might have to do is actually back up my camera and just to get a wider shot so I can get the arch of the tree in. But I actually kind of like the way the composition looks right now. So I'm actually gonna test out a shot of that first. Okay, so I've pulled my camera back quite far now. So I'm getting quite a lot of the tree in actually, not the whole thing, but at least most of it. And you've got a little bit of the man in the background and then I'm getting some of the water on the side and also having a focus on the rocks in the front. It looks kind of nice at f1.4, but the only problem is I'm getting quite a bit of chromatic aberration. So I think I actually will just put it up to um, f8 and get as much detail as possible. Um, and then I'll have to lower my shutter speed. So my shutter speed, I'm gonna have to put it at around 1 20th of a second now. But otherwise, the only problem I have is that the small branches are moving a little bit. So I might get some movement in that. So I'm just gonna have to focus on the rocks that are in the foreground and make sure that those are in focus. So that's me done for today guys. It's getting a little bit cold and it's starting to get dark and I got about an hour's walk home so I don't want to be here when it gets dark. But otherwise I've got two compositions I kind of liked. Please make sure you guys give me a thumbs up, it really helps. And if you enjoyed this and you want to see more, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.